Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video also I am going to cover Prox SQL in true questions and answers. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me or you can buy my video course. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can take a session from me. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, this is the first question. What is inline view? Answer is an inline view is a nested query that is specified in the outer queries from clause. When we specify any query in from clause, that is called inline view. Let's understand this by an example. So in this example, select all the cars where city mileage is greater than the average city mileage of all cars. So we are going to use sashelp.cars dataset here. And in this dataset, we have MPG city or city mileage variable. So what we need to do, we need to select all the cars where city mileage is greater than the average city mileage of all cars. Let's see the answer. So this is the query. So here, create table car mileage. So we are creating a table car mileage and selecting three variables make model and mpg city then this b variable average mpg is coming from inline view in from close if you see says help dot cars select from close says help dot cars and alias is a for this data set and we are using a query select average function then mpg city is the variable as average mpg from says help dot cars and we are giving alias as b so this query that we are giving in from clause this is called inline view and then we are giving one filter condition where a dot mpg city is greater than b dot average mileage so average mileage is coming from this query so if we see the output so output is this so make is the variable that holds the brand Acura, Audi, BMW, model is the car model and then MPG city that is coming is 24, 22, 22 something and the average is 20. Here I am not showing full output due to the space issue. So that is a partial output, but you can see that we are able to select all the cars where MPG city is greater than average city mileage of all cars. Here we have a small problem. Let's first see the log and understand this. So the log is saying the execution of this query involves performing one or more Cartesian product joins that cannot be optimized. So here this query is generating Cartesian product. So Cartesian product means when all the rows of two tables, two or more tables joins with each other. So that is called Cartesian product. And that is something which is not good that cannot be optimized. So why this is happening? See here we are using one table is this and another table or output is coming from this query, but we are using two tables here and we are using filter also based on each other's tables, but we are not using any join. So when we are not using any join, then in this scenario, Cartesian product is created and that cannot be optimized. So we will rewrite this query and see how we can correct this problem. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so everything is same. Now here I have modified this query. So this time the car mileage and the variable in select make model MPG city. I'm not using the variable average mileage this time and that is not required, but here in from clause, I am using only one table, not using any subquery or inline view here. In the where clause, I am using MPG city, that is same as previous one. But instead of using the same query in from clause, inline view, I am using that query in where clause. So now this where clause, this query will give me the average city mileage of all cars, and that city mileage will compare with this each observations city mileage if it is greater than it will selected in this car mileage otherwise it will not so this time we are able to select and solve the question without cartesian product if you see the log so no information about cartesian product but this is not inline view inline view was in previous slide 
but we have solved this query in another way also. I hope you understand this. Let's move on to the next slide. What is SAS view and how to create it using ProxySQL? SAS view. This is not inline view. This is different than this. Let's see the answer. Answer is a ProxySQL view is a stored query that is executed when you use the view in SAS processor or data step. The view contains only the logic for accessing the data, not the data itself. Okay, now understand what it is. So proc SQL view, it stores the query, not the data. So when you access that particular view, underlying query will run or underlying data step or whatever you will write logic that will be executed. Let's see the example. So here I am creating the view. Creating view is similar to creating data set. So create view and when we create data set, we use create table. So view name is car underscore current as and the underlying query is select star from sas help dot cars. So anyone who is going to access this car underscore current view, this query will execute and provide all the observations from sas help dot cars data set. So we are able to create car underscore current sas view. Now I am going to access this view in proc sort. So now here you can see data equal car current. So I'm using this car current view here and then out equal car underscore sorted and the sorting variable I am using mpg city. So when I will execute it will access all the observation of this sas help dot cars that will be available here and then those observations are sorted with mpg city and written into this one. All right. So guys if I miss to use this out statement here the SAS will throw an error. Why? Because car underscore current is not a data set. Okay, it is just a view and it will provide all the observations. So if you do not give out a statement, then you are modifying or sorting the master data set that is specified with data statement. But there is no such master data set because this is a view. So that's why SAS will give you an error. So that's why when you will use the view, use the out statement. I hope this is clear. Let's see the log. When I run this proc sort, you can see it's not talking about anything regarding select star or anything. So that query will run automatically in background and you will have no idea what is written in this car current. Here I have showed this. That's why you know that this car current is uh, having the select star query. Otherwise, if I'll just give a name car current and use this like a data set. So you will never know what is behind this view. And if you see here in the note, it's like a normal data set. There are 421 observation read from the data set work dot car current. It's talking about data set, right? Not the view. And then car sorted data set has 428 observation and 15 variables. So everything is normal in the log. So guys here most importantly is that people ask what is the benefit of using this SAS view. So this is the real question that can be asked. So I have logged few benefits that are most important. So one is save space. So if you see here it is just a query not the data set. So data set has a size because it stores actual data. So that's why data set is have more size and view doesn't hold much space. So that's why it saves space. Second is since view is having a query. So every time you access the view, it will run the query and give you the most recent result from the source data set. So every time you access car current, it will give you the observation that is most latest from sashelp.cars. So input data sets are always current because data is derived from tables at execution time. So this is the second benefit and if we talk about third benefit. So here you can see when we are accessing the car current we do not know what query is written in this car current view and what query it holds. Okay, so that's why it hide complex joins or queries from users. So this hides complex joins or queries. So that means it increase the security because we do not know what is in background. So that's why people or users will do not know what is written in the query. So what data sets are used to derive this view. So that's why if we do not know that means security will get increased. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. Next question is write a SAS query to delete duplicate records in data set EMP on EMP ID variable. So guys this is I think very simple one. Let's see the answer. So I am using create table unique. So creating a table unique as select distinct. So distinct is the keyword that is used to delete duplicates and then from EMP. 
I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. What is the use of calculated keyword? The answer is calculated keyword is used when we use any derived or calculated variable in select or pair clause. So sometimes it requires like you need to create a new variable with the calculation of another variables values. So that variable when you use in where clause or select clause also we need to use calculated keyword because that variable is not present in source data. Let's understand this by an example. So this is the input data. I have variables EMP ID house expenditure other expenditure and salary. Now here proc SQL create table actual income. So I want to calculate the actual income. The actual income is this 8000 minus house expenditure minus other expenditure. So 2 plus 3 minus 8. So that means 5000 is the actual income for 101 employee. So here I am using select star salary minus house expenditure minus other expenditure as actual income. So this is my newly created or calculated variable. However, I haven't used calculated keywords so far. So this is what I have calculated and this is the output employee ID house expenditure other expenditure salary and actual income. So now I'm able to calculate the actual income. But if we just want to apply a filter where actual income is more than 5000 that means we need to use this actual income newly created variable in query to filter in where clause. So if we apply this where actual income is greater than 5000 we need to use calculated keyword because actual income is a new variable that we created that is not present here. So if you want to use this variable we need to specify calculated keywords. So I have rewritten this query. Just adding few things. So here query is exactly same. Only thing I have added here is where and the calculated keyword and actual income is greater than 5000 and this is the output. So there are two observation that has more than 5000 as actual income. So this one and this one. So I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. Write a query to count unique values of data set EMP on EMP ID variable. So this is similar to one that we have solved where we are deleting the duplicate records. But this time we want to count all the unique records in a data set called EMP and variable is EMP ID. Let's see the input data set. So this is input data set. I am just showing the only the one variable. So here you will see duplicate this 103 then 104 is duplicate and 106 is duplicate. Three is unique. We will be counting how many unique observations are there. Let's see the query. So this is the query. I am using count function. And then distinct distinct. I already discussed that this is used to select unique observations. Then EMP ID is the variable as unique count and from employee EMP is the data set. Let's see the output. So output we will show four observations. These are unique observations. So 101 1 103 2 104 1 observation and 106 1. So total are unique is 1 2 3 and 4. So count is 4. I hope this is clear guys. Let's move on to the next slide. All right guys. So proc SQL intro question and answer is not yet finished. I will create one more video. So guys if you like my video please hit the like button subscribe my channel or share it with anybody who is interested in learning SAS or preparing for SAS interview. So we will meet in the next session till the time. Bye and take care.